Hello everyone. So in today's video segment on a day in the life of mining engineer, I got with me here, Bailey Sermon. Um, Bailey is a mining engineer in training working in Canada here. Uh, Bailey, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Tell us uh, where you work, um, what your job title is, and a little bit about your education background. Hey, so um, a little bit about me. I'm a fiance, a new mom. Congratulations. Um, Sud- <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we just adopted a little boy. Um, I live in Sudbury. Life's pretty busy. I'm a dog mom, too. Um, I started schooling wise. I was going to be a conservation officer for sure. I was set on it. And then I s- decided last minute to go to um, environmental science. And then I wasn't really challenged. So last minute, again, I was kind of like, well, not last minute. I was two years into my environmental science degree I was like not really enjoying this it was really vague I didn't know where I would end up and I started to pursue engineering and I know mining doesn't really seem like it fits the bill but I always sort of felt like I could change things if I was a mine engineer so and I grew up in a mining town and now I work for BBA a consulting firm and yeah and then I'll be a PN in less than a year and life's right been on. good <laughs> yeah that sounds <laughs> so. excellent all right, lots of good things happening for you. Can you tell us a little bit about a day in the life or maybe even a week in the life of your role as a mining engineer? I know day to day we have a lot of different tasks that we take on. So maybe even if you need to go through, say, like a week, that's fine, too. Sure. So consulting is a little different than operations. It's nine to five, Monday to Friday, and you work on a variety of projects throughout a week. I give you the COVID version, or I can give you the normal version. <laughs> COVID, do- I work from home right now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's a little different. Uh, we're starting to open things up, so the office is opening up slowly. And normally, you go into the office, and you're we have a group of about twenty people now in Sudbury. Maybe it's pretty big in like Quebec area more than Ontario. And uh, yeah, you do anything. You do trade off studies and consulting for mining companies. You can do any sort of mine design from PEA to feasibility level and it depending at what point in your project you're at depend will depend on what your day looks like so that can be a multitude of things I just came back from a six months at comment in Thompson Manitoba actually where I was doing scheduling so I was working with operations and helping them schedule day-to-day stuff so that was an interesting adventure. I got stuck up there with COVID, so oh, I didn't no. actually get to fly home on my rotation off, but it all worked out and it's a good experience and had lots of fun up there. So yeah, so, other than that. What type of projects time. did you get to work on? Because uh, it sounds like you go through like different types of projects through different rotations. Yeah, for sure. So like, can't disclose who we work for, sure, yeah. but say mining company X hires us. Um, currently, we're doing some open pit design. We have some underground um, expansion, so they're just going deeper in one mine. So they give us, they'll give us their ore body or uh, inferred or interpreted, <laughs> whatever. They give us what they think they have, and we basically take that and we create the mining for them. So. That's done in Deswick a lot of the time. I haven't, can't say I've been working on too, too much of that right now. Just like, mm-hmm. just kind of getting out of the scheduling and stuff. I had quite a bit of time off after working for six months straight. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's always good to have. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it sounds sure. like you do a bunch of work all the way from scheduling stuff to the more of the economic side, which is like the PEA that you mentioned. Yeah, so yeah, so you can do like NSR values, so you're calculating Excel sheets on Excel sheets, or you can be working in Deswick doing mine design. Sometimes cool. mine site, doing open pit. Yeah, it can really range. You can do a haulage study, so literally just cycle times to <laughs> <laughs> right designing on. the benches. So it's it really ranges in consulting, which is cool. One thing I really enjoyed is that you get to work on a lot of different projects, so you get to see a lot of different things. All right, and you already answered my next question, which was, uh, what, what's one favorite thing you have about your work? Um, so why don't we skip to the very last question, which is, do you have any advice for people who are looking to become mining engineers? 
I guess my biggest advice, this is like, I wouldn't say regret, but if you can travel while you're young, go to the cool different mine sites that you won't once you have kids at home and you're in a house and you don't want to leave as often, right? So there's fly and fly out at, in very remote locations. Go check those projects out because you won't get to forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's so worth it. I did I did do my a bit of time in different remote sites, but I just wish I had a bit longer. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Yeah. So uh, that about wraps up this uh, interview here. Uh, where can people find you? Because I know you're very active on Instagram. <laughs> uh, a mining girl is my Instagram account and I kind of just track my travels throughout Canada so far only Canada unfortunately I'm waiting to go overseas once COVID ends um, we're working on a project in Kazakhstan actually right now I won't say for who but cool, cool. <laughs> so if they want to ship me over there for just for like a week or so that'd be awesome and I know that we had other co- colleagues in Morocco for a bit so things right like that I'll track my journey along there and I kind of give like information about mining if I can. Um, LinkedIn, I don't stay very active on it, but I'm on it a bit. So feel free to look me up there. And that's just Bailey Sermon. So cool. Yeah. Well, Bailey, thank you very much for this interview. No problem. Thanks for having me.